everyone, I'm Sharon and I'm the director here at Cave Springs Camp. Really excited to join you today with a story time. Today I'm going to read What Do You Do With a Problem by Kobe Yamada. What do you do with a problem? I don't know how it happened, but one day I had a problem. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I really didn't like having a problem, but there it was. Why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with a problem, I thought. I wanted to make it go away. I shoot it. I scowled at it. I tried ignoring it, but nothing worked. I started to worry about my problem. What if it swallows me up? What if my problem sneaks up and gets me? What if it takes away all of my things? I worried a lot. I worried about what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this and I worried about that. And the more I worried, the bigger my problem became. I wished it would just disappear. I tried everything I could to hide from it. I even found ways to disguise myself, but it still found me. And the more I avoided my problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time, and it didn't feel good at all. I couldn't take it anymore. This has to stop, I declared. Maybe I was making my problem bigger and scarier than it actually was. After all, my problem hadn't really swallowed me up or attacked me. I realized that I had to face it. So even though I didn't want to, even though I was really afraid, I got ready and I tackled my problem. When I got face to face with it, I discovered something. My problem wasn't what I thought it was. I discovered it had something beautiful inside. My problem held an opportunity. It was an opportunity for me to learn and to grow, to be brave and to do something. It showed me that it was important to look closely because some opportunities only come once. So now I see my problems differently. I'm not afraid of them anymore because I know their secret. Every problem has an opportunity for something good. You just have to look for it. The end. I chose this book today because this has been a pretty challenging time for a lot of people. Even here at Cave Springs Camp, we have been pretty sad because we're not having our summer camp here on site. And we thought about it for a long time as a big problem, and we re weren't really sure what we were going to do about it until we took a step back and we thought about what a cool opportunity it was to get to do our camp in a box, which is what you have right now, so that we can still uh, be a little piece of your summertime, even though we can't see each other. I love this book and a whole series by Kobe Yamada, and I would definitely recommend you check more out. Hopefully I'll get to read more of them to you as we go on with our boxes. Do you have any challenge that you're facing or a problem that you might find an opportunity in? Let us know either in the comments or by sending us a postcard. You have some in your box.